What's up, everybody? Today we're watching Paranorman. And if you want us to watch Norm of the North, then get this video to 15,000 likes. I need it. So please like the video and also comment down other movies you want us to watch and check out our Patreon to get exclusive content or click the join button below to become a member. And remember to leave a like -a on the video. I've never seen this movie before. I think both of you guys have seen it. No, I've never seen it. This is like Coraline for the boys, basically. <laughs> Actually, this feels a lot like uh, Psychonauts, like the art style. It kind of has that vibe. I think in some of the comedy, it's kind of like Psychonauts as well. That's a very good sign. The zombie is eating her head, Grandma. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> he has such a cute voice. How many times do we have to go through this, son? Your grandmother is dead! <laughs> oh my god, wait a second. That's a freaking crazy plot twist. What the hell? Oh my god, it's the sixth sense, but instead of the twist being at the end of the movie, the twist is at the beginning of the movie. So it's like an even crazier twist. It's like a twist, except it isn't a twist because they're just setting up the plot for the movie. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. Not much time. Not much time. Herbert the pervert is looking at pictures of Norm. That's not Herbert the pervert. That's Santa Claus off the Zen packets, bro. Whoa! Oh my god, it's Kenny from The Walking Dead. Oh god, that's I. I Dude, don't be why quiet. Stop. Let's not comment on it. The grandma was not on screen yet. I don't know why you're reacting. I was like 15 when this movie came out. No fucking wonder I like this movie. I just really like old ladies. <laughs> I love being happy. Dude, I'm not happy though. I got injured, personally. You got into an accident? Morgan and Morgan might be able to help with that. I would love to make that old lady pay for what she did. People have made millions from the help of Morgan and Morgan. Millions, you say? Millions? Yeah, millions. They even recently won $26 million in Philadelphia for one of their clients, which was 40 times higher than the insurance offer. I need to work with them, bro. Get me on that. You even work with them online through your phone. We know you're too lazy to get off your chair and go to some office. Also, you pay them nothing unless you win your case, which means there's zero risk on your part. They have over 4,000 available support staff to help at any hour with your case. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions, and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash milk. Link in the description. Some of these shots are so immensely detailed and the lighting is so good that like some of those shots where they're just looking at the sidewalk or looking at a car from behind. Like if I wasn't like specifically paying attention, I wouldn't even know that it was like a stop motion like set or anything like that. Nice today. I like what you've done with your hair. This scene feels so emotional and it's like the beginning. It is emotional. I mean, like he literally lives in the context of everything that came before him. This is a day in Kamala's life. <laughs> She's walking down the street, greeting the ghost of Joe Biden. It's like he's not even dead yet. It's like only half of him is a ghost. <laughs> he has a red hoodie, so I feel like I'm allowed to like co-op him as being a Latino. And it's really just because of the red hoodie. It's like no other reason. This is Coco for white people. Oh my God, Freak Bob. <laughs> Freak Bob left his stain. What do you want, Alvin? Why don't you go see some more ghosts? Goober. McLovin voices the bully. <laughs> Perfect casting. Top of page six, Norman. The founding fathers. Norman is just an inherently funny name. Because Norman is such a like 45 year old middle management at like a car dealership company name. Normans don't exist in the public space of the world. They hide. They in exist private. in the context of everything that came before them. No, Cor, we can't make that joke for the fourth <laughs> time this video. We have to let it go. I was trying to make it too, but I couldn't remember the sentence. <laughs> This is like a good version of Boss Baby. You know how like in Boss Baby, the kid hallucinates? Sorry, I just read a chat. Someone said that's Lois VA, by the way. What? Are you joshing us? Are you joshing us? I can see ghosts too. And I know that's not all you've been seeing lately, is it? Oh, this is also John Goodman. He also plays the crazy guy. Jeez, what a dirty old creep. He's my uncle. <laughs> the delivery of that line was amazing. Isn't he that weird kid? 
you know, look at me. Oh, yes, this guy, the goat of the movie. Chad, if you f***ing spoil this, I'm gonna kill you. He's a zombie. He's a zombie. I don't need to be spoiled. He's a zombie. Because where is his brain? You see his haircut? There's no space for a brain. So the spoiler is, he's a zombie. They, they already did it, bro. Yeah, chat's already spoiling it, bro. Doesn't he realize we're running out of... Ugh. We died. Zendaya ghost? I'm sure that chatter just wanted an excuse to say Zendaya. Yo, how old was Zendaya when this movie was made? Someone in the audience said you suck. <laughs> Who would do such an evil thing? That's just so bad. This is a school play, so surely one of their children is up there. Kill the witch! Kill the witch! This is what me and Jack do whenever Eden comes over. Kill, Kill the, the witch. witch. At my school, we did a play like that, but they accidentally... It was kind of like a bite of 87 situation, you know what I mean? Oh no. I just feel like Coraline definitely like aesthetically and stylistically is stronger but just the level of detail technique and execution in this movie is like such a level up I didn't think it could get better but it did Witch, we know you're out there <gasps> What if every time they pan down to his shoes, you could see like a giant Nike logo? Yeah, Leica is complete nepotism, but like they make such cool art that it's worth it. This is how you know this movie came out before vapes, bro. Because how is the toilet an area of solitude? That was like the most terrible place in the entire school for my generation. Oh, bro, Alvin would be vaping like crazy. He's got the plugs in already. Oh my god, Dutch angle. This is so cool. What the f This is so Dutch right now. This is what happens when you shit at school. This is actually a very cathartic experience for me because this happened to me before. Which in- I'm not going to elaborate further. You- you died? Yeah! Skibbity toilet, skibbity toilet. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. I said the reference, we can move on now. Her ghost is going to wake up, and when she does, she'll raise the dead. If you're a ghost, are you just stuck the way you died? Dude, Elvis is the worst ghost. Elvis died shitting on the toilet, bro. <laughs> Most old people die on the toilet. That's a very common way to die. Read from the book at the spot. The witch was buried. I'm not gonna lie. If I die on the toilet, I die doing what I love. <laughs> Bury me with it. <laughs> <laughs> Do an open casket, but it's just a glass wall around me dead on the toilet. Before the sun sets tonight. Something about this gives like Gravity Falls vibes. In another world, he'd be voiced by Alex Hirsch. I'm finally free. <laughs> He's going straight to hell. Uh... Yeah, you uh, you might want to give that a few minutes. <laughs> He's improv. He rolled with the punches there. I'll put you in the boobs. I don't have boobs. These are pectorals. Oh my god. Ow, my boobs. Oops. The kid's delivery is so bad. It's also weird because they're in the same school, but the person voicing the bully is like 35. <laughs> so is this like Australia's next competitor for break? That was such a current event reference, score. When this video comes out in like literally 10 <laughs> days, everyone is going to already forget that happened. But like, that is so awesome. Okay, let me go back to making Hawk to a Hawk to is timeless. It's timeless. <laughs> Oh my god, that is a fast slug. That is the fattest damn slug I've ever seen. Oh my god, no, I forgot. You know Norman, like, once he enters high school, he's gonna start smoking weed at the cemetery. That's the type of kid he is. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is hilarious. Child drags dead corpse through room. It's so interesting though, like how they're able to convey weight so well. Yeah. Because that's probably like a very difficult thing to do in stop motion. Oh my god, now he's in the cemetery. I fing guessed it, dude. Bring him his joint. They have it so, like, the light comes through on his ears. That's, like, a really good touch. Fairy tale? Ooh, what you got there, Geekula? No! Geekula. Ha <laughs> ha, that's really funny. That looks so cool! That's me if I'm a zombie, though. I'm coming out ass first. <laughs> you die face down ass up. I die how I lived. Neil, do you get the door? 
<laughs> Bro okay. spilled half the goddamn bag on the floor. Yeah, dude, those bags are like 50% air. That's like basically- Bro oh. is fucking- He's cooning! Oh. He's literally cooning! Um... Can I help you? They actually have total drama island proportions in this movie. <laughs> they do, literally. Uh, uh, is Norman in trouble? Oh my god, look at the facial expressions, bro. The facial expressions are, like, doing all the talking, bro. You don't need to be PG-13. She was sitting there watching him go, like... The story of Sleeping Beauty? This doesn't make any sense. You have to kiss the zombies. <laughs> yes, that, that's the resolution. It wasn't there! I was reading the book in the wrong place. This is like if Dipper teamed up with Robbie. I mean, there is an episode where they're forced to be together. <laughs> that makes it sound like they're dating. <laughs> For Alvin. Alvin! Maybe that's why he's so f***ed up, because these two brothers are chipmunks. Look at that sky! That's so cool. Must have been the wind. I wouldn't really pay much attention to it. Press the fucking brakes, dude. So he's okay? Uh, not exactly. He's so dumb. He's such a himbo. Oh my lord. Oh my lanta. Dude, oh my lanta. Holy shit. This movie has fascinating character design. BBL ass movie. <laughs> I understand. I understand that this is all getting completely out of. The voice cast is so jarring, I feel like, because Anna Kendrick is so good, and then you cut to the fat kid, and, like, he's, like, reading off the script. I, I like you're saying that, but I think, like, literally every voice actor is great except for the fat kid. Except for Neil. He's more than just a fat kid. His name is Neil, and he has orange hair. Norman, your witch was buried someplace else. In an unmarked grave? It's a witch's burial ground. Wait, that's just like Canada. Quick, she said go to the town hall! Ugh. Oh, they gotta go level up their town hall. Do you think this is like a Clash of Clans reference? You would need a giant axe to survive something like this. Yeah, everyone else is dead besides Anna Kendrick. <laughs> but he's he's gotta get it. He's gotta get his greasy pieces. <laughs> no. Come on. Yeah. He's gonna go back for them. Run He's back, gonna go back for them. Back. He's gonna go back. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. I respect this guy. Yes, yeah, the best movie ever. <laughs> this is the best movie ever. Oh my god, because all of them are dead and old. And what do old people like most in the entire world? Gambling at the casino. Being addicted to gambling is basically being a zombie. What? She just has a shotgun at the ready? <laughs> this is middle America, bro. This is it. This is? Now we can find out where the witch was buried. You think they burned the history because they destroyed the immigrants? I mean, not the immigrants, the aboriginal people. <laughs> the immigrants. <laughs> Hello? Is that a little Freudian slip right there that you see them all the same? <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a zombie movie because there were ghosts. I've never seen a movie that started out as ghosts and then became zombies halfway through. Now that you say that, it is funny because the ghosts are like barely relevant once the zombies are introduced. I do too, listen. Whatever it was you just said, it's not working. Whatever it was you just said. <laughs> I hate to see her go, man, but um, I, I just hate to see her go, you know? Yeah, like, I really would not like to see that scene another time. I'm not skipping frames back now, like, I promise. Like, I don't, I'm not doing that. The screaming is so genuinely visceral that, like, genuinely scared me. Oh, my God. It sounded like someone was being fucking killed. <laughs> the music, man, it's so good. It's the start of a Hotline Miami track. Dude, the Dutch people get so much representation in this movie. Where's the Portuguese angles? I'm tired of the Dutch getting What is like, a Portuguese angle? A Portuguese angle is like ass up, like from the bottom. I would say that this movie has quite a few of those too. Necromancer! This is all he's doing. Honestly, like the most realistic thing, we are in New England. Salem witch trials probably didn't occur too far away. I feel like they might scapegoat Norman for this afterwards. I feel like they're gonna kill him. You have been arraigned for the horrible crime 
of witchcraft. Oh, shit. They actually are going to hang him for witchcraft. No, no. He's getting her backstory. Oh. I'm dumb. That's sad, though. They were killing people just for, like, religious superstition. Yeah, it's sad because, like, we don't do that anymore. What happened? We used to be a real country. No. No. Literally, all three of us would probably be killed for witchcraft. Like, we're too fucking, like, weird. But we're just so good at reacting to cartoons that it's, like, magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. No, she's literally start light, bro. She's literally start light. <laughs> They're like, bro, you saw us murder that little girl. <laughs> yeah, like, I admit, like, a bit of an L on our part. That's it, isn't it? A bedtime story to keep a little girl asleep for another year. Just give her Xanax like a good parent. <laughs> give her a lobotomy like a good parent. Why did you do it? We were scared. That's a pretty good excuse. Honestly, I'm going to forgive him instantly. I believed we were doing what was right. No, it's okay. You don't have to tell the rest. I'm, I'm on your side. I mean, like, I see a 10-year-old doing magic. Like, it's on site. But the curse doesn't ever go away. Nothing gets better. Gotta break the cycle. It's like Encanto. It's like Encanto for white people, dude. Under here! Under here! <laughs> I know a way to stop this. He's in league with them. What's happening? <laughs> no one is listening. Leave him alone. Why did that work? Why did it work when she said it? Well, she's got a lot more mass. If a girl with a fat ass tells you to shut up, would you shut up? <laughs> hand, Alvin, my hand. Bro, what happened? Alvin crapped her ass. <laughs> They did something unforgivable because they were scared. I'm not gonna lie, it's giving everybody claps. I think everybody's gonna clap at the end of this <laughs> Wait, so I'm supposed to believe that that spirit was just sitting there the entire time watching them have that holly jolly conversation? Well, I mean, it was a good scene, right? So she just wanted to see it play out. Why are we here? <sighs> Someone's got to talk to her, Dad. There's something that hits about emotionally mature child and annoying parent. Yeah, but it's just really unrealistic. Like, everybody knows that parents know how to do everything and solve all your problems, but they just don't want to because they're inherently evil. Who are you? I'm, I'm Norman. Norman Babcock? <laughs> <laughs> what a name. That's such a bad name. He was born to be bullied. <laughs> oh, and so was she. That's where they were late. Leave me alone. She looks so cool, man. Yeah, her design is awesome. How do you even... It's CGI, right? Well, yeah, Leica does use CGI stuff to touch up or, like, add extra effects. Ah! The longer it stayed, the less there was of the little girl. God, this looks so cool. Me talking to the voices in my head. Shut up. You play this mean game, but you don't play fair. This is literally Psychonauts. You have to remember. Remember me. me, so I have to say goodbye. Remember me. This really is a white people's cocoa. I remember my mommy brought me here once. Damn, her only memory of someone loving her is her mom. That kind of sucks. Cut to her mom. Cut to her mom. I know her mom's sexy as hell. I think you got so scared that you forgot who you are. I can see how they can bond because like she has massive f***ing ears and so does he. And the eyebrows too. The eye bags on them too. I just want my mommy. Dang, dude, this movie looks so f***ing good. They don't make movies like this anymore. Even though they literally do like- <laughs> Even though like it just announced their next movie. Oh my gosh, she's greening out. No. Oh no, he started flirting with the weed smoker, bro. And <laughs> she did die by the tree. Mom, look, you're embarrassing what? me. That's my job. Aww. That's really cute that, like, his mom's the first one that greets him. And then he's happy because, like, the little girl can't see her mom anymore. And, like, he just appreciates what he has. That's really wholesome. Really? That's the part of the movie that pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna love my boyfriend. He's like a total chick flick nut. Lol. I like how casually they said it. It wasn't a whole like, what? 
the whole family, and they're here to watch TV. And what's on the TV? The newest episode of Family Guy. Thanks to our patrons. Light Animation, Adam Sear, Aeromir, Alia Link, Alzheimer's is a Bad Disease, We Should Cure It, Anna Gooch, Arachnodroid, Aaron Tietzen, Atomic Leon, Barsam, Bento, Calm Luke, Cosmic Vega, Daddy Diarrhea, Dante Estefan, Diablo Chiquita, Dixie Dominator Dan, Fletch Trollgage, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, George White, George White, Gub Stargazer, Helio, Hummus, Isaiah Alfred, Kai Hollow, Lilac Moon, Lovely Fish 34, Michael Rodriguez, Mr. Marcus Blitz, Merc 55, Nathaniel, Native 5, Omega Waffles, by the way, Penny Pen Pen, Please Gamer ZL, Pop Belly Man, Potato MZ, Rabbit of Turbinog, R Dizzle, Ryan Thompson, Rocky Robo Sprinkles, Rythoka, Saul Goodman, Sir Kaiju, Spilling the Pilk, Tyrant Stills, Tarjan, Victoria, Winzy, and Wolf